Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is a quick tip on I'm designing an electronic load box for various purposes. More on that in a separate video, but I just thought I'd give a quick tip today on what's my process for getting a front panel design or a rear panel design done. You can see I'm using water jet cut aluminium and I already have the prototype getting put together right now. It's it's coming together nicely, but I need to design a decal or screen printing design or whatever for this rear panel. I already have one for the front panel and I'll show you that in just a second. Um, so what's the process? The cleanest way is to generate a sketch and project all of the main whole entities. All good graphic design tools for professional illustration allow DXF import and export. So. So this is what we do. I'm just going to go ahead and create a sketch on that plane. And then all I have to do is project. All right, geometry, we select that plate, the rear plate that's already got all the holes designed into it, where it needs to go and so on. Click OK. Now I could just hit finish sketch, but while I'm actually here, this, those items are all on the sketch now. Right, so I could just right click on that and say save as DXF. And I've got an existing folder where I'm putting these things. So this is going to be rear panel label. That appears to have been done. Now I'll finish the sketch in case I want to go back to it and modify that some other time. Uh, now I can go into Inkscape. And you can see I've already got the front panel decal. There was a lot of work getting that to where it is, even though it's quite a simple one. But just to show the basic process, I'm going to go import and choose rear, rear panel label. Um, now the scale on this, well, let's just say manual scale one to one. and um, include the SVG image as editable in the, yes, I do want that. Smooth, 600 DPI is what I like because if I'm using a laser printer or a, an inkjet printer on glossy paper to actually print a prototype label, which I can then laminate behind a sheet of plexiglass uh, and put use as the actual front panel label, you want it pretty decent quality, so. So there it is, and that's that's in the wrong document, but you see the process, that's in the exact size. Um, so let me, let me hit Control X on that to put that on the clipboard. What I'm going to do instead is just hit New, create a new, in, new Inkscape drawing, and Control V to paste that one in there. And while it's still selected, I'm doing Document Properties, and I'm going to resize the page to the content because I don't need an actual page on this. Right? And there it is. Now I can go about adding layers and adding text and aligning things to different objects. I, the nice thing about this is because these actual um, curved items they're all linked together because they're part of a DXF layer that was imported. But I can reference those, I can explode that group to individual items and then use the alignment tools in Inkscape to align text and do things like that. So it's, it's just very handy, easy way. And just to show you how that process looks once you've gone through it all, uh, there's multiple layers and items disabled from view here. Uh, but this is essentially the printout that's for the front panel of the same load box. I'm calling it the hothead. Um, that probably will be a trademark, so you're not allowed to use it. But <laughs> anyway, you can see this, there, there's a bunch of things in layers. If I were to expand the layers view, you'd see I've hidden a lot of them. All of that can be printed out. I can export that as SVG, PNG, whatever I need. And that's what I actually did. If I go back to Fusion, 
and want to get some kind of preview how that's going to look in real life, there's the front panel. Um, I can actually insert that as a canvas or decal. Uh, there's a subtle difference between these in Fusion. A canvas is, is more of a standalone serious object. Um, so let's just, let's just do that. I'm going to hit canvas. I guess my machine's running slow because I'm trying to record video at the same time. Insert from my computer, and then this is the folder it was stored in. And it should automatically fit it because, because they came one to one from the same original sketch, it should fit it to that face automatically because it's the right. You know, you can move it around and adjust it, but it's it's already the right uh, aspect ratio. I'm going to keep that. Um, I don't want to do display through. And yes, I'll keep it. No, I don't want it selectable, but I will make it renderable because I want to generate some photorealistic-ish pictures of what this thing's going to look like in the flesh as an actual product. So I hit OK. And there it is. Um, note that the second hole there, which I actually put in my design, I'm not using for this version. Um, so my front panel will, I've, I've actually cut that hole out of it. So that will be covered over by the actual decal, which I'll stick on the front panel. So that won't be visible, but looks pretty good if I may say so myself.